Hello, and welcome to Have a Yarn with Charlie. I'm Charlie. This video is a little overdue. Petra from Petra's Happy Place tagged me in the uh, 15 yarn YouTuber questions. And I, for reasons, too many reasons, I, I never got it done. So then it just hit me today. Uh, with some bad words and oh I okay so let's get this done shall we and uh, Petra I'm sorry uh, that it's late but here we go uh, okay the first question was what made you decide to create a YouTube channel well that would be a couple of answers in one Reason number one, why not? Uh, no, uh, my uh, best friend had passed away from breast cancer uh, going on two years. And I was just lost. I was lost. I have, we would sit there on Skype every day crocheting with one another and I just lost it then I saw um, Billy the, the crafty Floridian fiber hearts and um, Zach Stout and slowly I started to pick up the hook again and saw that they were making podcasts and I was like well all right why don't I start one in dedication to her uh, to get the awareness out there and here I am and now I'm having so much fun with it and yeah it's taken off so uh, Number two, what is your most favorite video you've ever uploaded? I think that would have to be the do-it-yourself mannequin with duct tape. Yes, the tutorial. We had so much fun making that video, Jasmine and I. But that was a lot of fun. And I do plan on making more videos like that. Um... Especially with the bloopers. Three, have you ever met any viewers or other YouTubers? Why, well, yes, I have. Jane from Scrap Scraptastic Yarns. April um, from Be Wowed by April Lee. Uh, Proverbs 31 Yarn. Uh, Glenda, Creative Grandma. And there's another get together coming up right after the holidays that we're planning on doing another get together there's also something happening in april by niagara falls i don't know if i'll be able to make that one uh those meetups were a lot of fun a lot of fun four what do you feel is the optimal length of a video how often do you feel you should upload now that's a tricky question. Some creators will tell you no more than 20 minutes. Others will tell you the more time the better. But you got to go through what you feel in your gut, what people want to see. Like this one, it might be running on and then people turn it off before I even get to number 15. But I say no more than 20 minutes. Uh, lives are a whole different ballgame. But you, how often do you upload? Whenever you want. <laughs> Hit that record button and off it goes. It, that You can upload every day. That's what I feel about that. Mm. Five. What is your favorite type of video to film? Ah, uh, my favorite type would be podcast. Yeah. 
not with story time. That's mine. Because I laugh at myself while making the video and <laughs> while I rewatch it from the stories. <laughs> and then we have. Do you have any self-imposed rules for yourself regarding your videos? Minor ones. The lighting has to be right. No bad words. Um, <laughs> angle has to be right. Like, I don't want you to see the disarrayed curtain. And the camera's over there, but really it's over there. Uh, get a good camera doesn't have to be all fancy hunky dory and uh, <laughs> now you don't even need a good camera because i use the phone i use the, the webcam whenever the moment hits i just hit the record button um hmm, let's see how do you prepare for your next video <laughs> how do i prepare for my next video I sit there quietly, I look at my yarn, my yarn, what can I make with that? Oh, all right, should I make a tutorial? Should I just show it? Should I just sit there and I think, or I look at people in a public setting and an idea just hits me. Um, there's no real true answer for that. I know I sit here for like five minutes before I hit the record button and I go, okay, okay, you can do this. Smile, smile. <laughs> um, what equipment editing program do you use? Uh, okay, hi Dougie. Um, well, the webcam that I use is a Logi. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was like 60 bucks. I do need to invest in a better webcam because the colors, where are we? It doesn't show purples. This is a deep purple, but it looks blue. So the pigmentation is off dogs. Um, I use the cell phone a lot. It has uh, it's a Note 10. Great camera. Great camera. On the computer, I use Filmora. On this, I use something called My Movie and Cam5 for, for lives. Um, and TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy. Between TubeBuddy and any program you can find, they are idiot proof. <laughs> as long as you get the basics down. It's idiot proof. And I'm still learning every day. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. Do you have a Facebook group? Well, yes, I do. Instagram? Yes, I do. Ravelry? No. And any others? Facebook? Yep. Have a yarn with Charlie. Instagram? Yep. Have a yarn with Charlie. Ravelry? Nope. Not yet. I don't know if I'm going to do Ravelry. I post daily to Facebook. I post uh, not so often on Instagram. That's new to this <laughs> old timer. <laughs> uh, have you ever done a tutorial? Well, let me go back to that one. Facebook, yes. I post daily because I love posting stuff that I have done. Asking people what they have done. I would love to see it. I get inspiration that way. I get a daily um, dose of crochet needs. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a way for me to interact with my subscribers even more and my friends even more. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Have you ever done a tutorial? Yes. No. Half. The mannequin. <laughs> it was more of a, just a fun day with Jasmine. 
If so, and more than one, which was your favorite to film? Yeah, it was just a mannequin right now. <laughs> and then, no, no, I'm sorry. Dying the yarn. I dyed the yarn. My favorite, it was the, the mannequin. I did have fun dyeing the yarn, though. Um, have you ever held a giveaway? Have you ever won a giveaway? Duh. Yes. Giveaways all the time. I won uh, two giveaways. And... I hit that 1k mark. Uh, have you ever done a vlog a day for a month? Beta, if not, do you think you ever will? I tried it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've tried. They are hard. And I give credit and kudos to those who can upload every day. I can't do it. Mm -mm. Have you ever lost your Crojo? Yeah. If so, how did you get it back? I looked at the yarn. I looked at Facebook pictures. I looked at uh, online. Just typed in something about crocheting. It could be crochet shawls, crochet cowls, wrist warmers. Just whatever pops into your head, Pinterest, and you just scroll. And something will, boop. Oh, I can make that. Yeah, maybe not. And you keep scrolling, and you just, and then you put the two together, and then, boop, it comes back. Uh, how has your channel changed? <laughs> when it first started, it was just going to be me. And now I have a co-host, Jasmine, who does not crochet. She draws. And my channel has changed because now I really look forward to posting videos and the comments and the reactions. And I, I'm so glad that I did this channel. And it's never going away. Because now it is a part of me. And number 15. Do you have any advice for someone thinking about starting their own channel? Do it. Even if you can only upload once a month. Do it. It keeps you in perspective. It helps with your creative thinking. It gets you in touch with the crochet world, um, the knitting world, whatever your channel is going to be. And it, it's great. It is great. I've met so many lovely people and all the, I'm going to say this correctly. All my subscribers have become my friends. And I look... Mm, See, he agrees. And I look forward to it every day in contact with at least one of them. And I wouldn't change it. But, okay. So, again, sorry it is so late. Sorry, Petra. And uh, I hope I answered some of your questions that you were asking. Um... Do I need to tag anybody? I don't know if it's too late now. But uh, I'm going to tag... Uh, let's see... April? And notifications. Uh, April from Be Wild by April. And Jane at Scraptastic Yarns. Alright. Take care. Have a yarn.